Buenos días. Mm, me gusta esta caro. <laughs> Toyota Fortuner. Look at that. Maybe this is a four runner combo. 3.0 four wheel drive. Oh yeah, folks, look at the lines on this thing. It literally is like a uh, Land Cruiser Sequoia combo. Uh, a little bit bigger than the 4Runner, not as big as the Sequoia. Um, has kind of the front shape of the uh, new Land Cruisers. And uh, boy, this thing's pretty cool looking. And it's really comfortable inside. We've got another two day journey and this is our new mode of transportation. Okay, everybody, we are now day 11 in our Peru adventure, and we are walking through more of a flat jungle in the town of Quintanilleva, and I believe this is the site where we're about to start building a Nazarene church here, which is pretty exciting. So we jumped in that wonderful car. Um, that's that cool Toyota vehicle I was showing you all. And it's very comfortable, which is good, because we just found out we have a six hour journey to our first destination, two days, uh, or I should say two nights, three days exploring. So uh, pretty exciting, different little landscape, but this looks like the uh, building site here um, that they're gonna be putting that in. So we're just gonna check out what's going on right now. Oh, I've got a new friend following us, let me show you. <laughs> a lot of cute dogs, been seeing a lot of puppies and a lot of chickens. It must be the after mating season here in Peru right now. A lot of the first churches that are built in each town start look start by looking kind of like this because they need a place for folks to gather, form a congregation, and start raising funds and building the uh, groups so that they can then uh, receive more funds and start building some of like the concrete buildings you've seen in the last few days. I'm learning an awful lot on this trip. It's been very exciting. Of course, I'm also learning that my Spanish has got to improve or I'm going to keep ending up on these wild... Uh, adventures because I have no idea what I'm getting into. Have a couple days clothes packed and all the camera gear and we're just going and going and going. So it has been a lot of fun. Pretty neat bridge they've got built here over the uh, creek when it's flowing. I think. <laughs> Those big, beautiful clouds up in the sky. Ooh. Oh yeah, just spent about six hours in that car. My uh, buns are pretty sore and uh, we've got a nice hotel down the street. Hopefully they've got rooms for all of us. And uh, then we're gonna go do a service tonight. Uh, I'm not sure which town we're in right now. Uh, maybe they'll get us that information. But it's been a pretty mellow day of sitting in the car, taking little naps, and uh, enjoying cruising around looking at stuff. Wow, we got off the road in the nick of time. It just started to dump rain. But you can see why we think that water catchment and water filtration is such a good idea. Because there is so much water when it starts to rain. It's amazing. That's funny. After the rain, we are now sitting in the coffee shop and I feel like we're in Italy when the water so flooded in the streets there. Ooh, it, just about time for church. Got my guitar, and my Bible. This is the uh, Church of the Nazarene here. And I believe we're in the town of Sada Marisa. And hopefully you can see, maybe if I do this there, you can see that it's a beautiful sunset out. And it's just gonna be a wonderful night. We're gonna eat dinner here at the church and then uh, have a fun service and then get some rest after that bumpy car ride today. Okay, everybody, thanks again for being with me on all of these adventures. I really appreciate the support. I appreciate the prayers. And I'm glad you're all having as much fun as I am. Well, maybe not quite as much fun as I am, but I appreciate you all being along for the ride. Thanks again. Bye.